Most of us can think of a time when we said, I want to start my own business. I want to be my own boss. I want to get rid of rush hour, that incompetent leader that I have to report to, and I want to start making my own decisions. But then without fail, something happens. Life gets in the way. But there is one day a year when we think back and we say, oh yeah, I said I was going to start a business. Now I'm going to start that process all over again. And that is New Year's Day. We say this is a new year. It's a fresh start. Let me take a step back and actually do what I said I'm going to do. Now, I don't know about you, but year after year, I've said I'm going to start things and I don't actually do it. But you just have to keep trying because the next year, after I failed a couple years in a row, oftentimes that'll finally hit my goal. So if you haven't started a business yet, it's not that it's too late. It's just that you need to keep trying. And I think 2021 is going to be your year. To help you out, let's talk about the five best businesses to start in 2021. Break down the pros and the cons and see which one is right for you. All right, so off the bat, let's talk about the difference between a job and a business. There's plenty of things that you can do to make money online in 2021 that involve you trading hours for dollars. That means you work on somebody else's schedule, you report to a boss, you do what they want you to do. And when you walk away and you have that paycheck, you're not getting paid again for that work. That's a job. And if all you want to do is be able to work from home, a job is a great option to go out there and get paid and not have to leave your house. Okay. There's a job website called dynamite jobs. They specialize in remote jobs. Go check that out. Now, why do we want to start a business? We want to start a business so we have time and location freedom so that if we want to sleep until 10 a.m. today or stay up till 3 a.m. or quit work at noon, we can do that because there's no boss saying, why didn't you work yesterday afternoon? Now, the difference between a job and a business is that the job requires our time. And that's why we're so locked into those certain hours. Whereas a business, a system is what actually produces the results. And our job as a business owner is to build systems. So the skill set of a business owner is systems building. It is taking different pieces and putting them together in a way that creates value for everyone involved. And you make what's called a profit, which is the excess value created from that system. So let's talk about five ways to start a business that you can do with no prior results, credentials, or experience. You don't have to have a degree in this. All you have to do is say, Christian, I'm open to the idea of becoming a systems builder. So business idea number one for 2021 is e-commerce. This is selling widgets online. You could be selling sweaters or baby toys or porcupine stuffed animals. Whatever it is you're selling, e-commerce is pretty much the same kind of system. So e-com works like this. You're going to attract a buyer, usually using social media marketing or search engine results in Amazon. The buyer is going to buy your product. You're then going to ship out that product to the buyer and they'll receive the product. Hopefully they're happy with it and they may buy from you over and over again. Now the upside to e-commerce is that pretty much anybody can do it. You don't have to communicate in front of a camera like this. You don't have to publish every single day. You just rely on that product to sell itself. It's one of the easiest things to sell online. So much easier than selling coaching or anything like that. So if you're just getting started, e-commerce is a great way to do it. Now I'd recommend you start with drop shipping, which means a manufacturer ships directly to your customer from the manufacturing facilities and you never even have to touch the product. Now I say start with because drop shipping margins are extremely low and that's because you're going to pay a premium to get the manufacturer to ship directly to your customer. You can go on sites like AliExpress right now. You can find products to sell and you can put up Facebook ads and you can have a drop shipping business by tomorrow afternoon. That's how easy it is for a beginner to get started. Now, the downside of this is you're not going to make much profit with drop shipping, but it's going to teach you how to build that system of an e-commerce business. So you're going to learn how to publish e-commerce ads. You're going to learn how to deal with customer support requests, how to deal with fulfillment, how to market different products and build your e-commerce website and Shopify. And once you learn how to build those systems, then you can graduate from drop shipping to actually sourcing your own products. Now, this type of business is going to work for someone who likes products, who likes looking at clothing or at toys or at widgets or gadgets or whatever it is, and then putting those on their website, presenting them in different ways, and then getting people to buy those. So for me, I absolutely hate physical products. If I had to fill up my garage with boxes of stuff so that I could ship it out to people, that's my absolute nightmare. So if you like going around and shopping for deals, negotiating with suppliers and things like that, 
and you like picking out different products, that's going to be a big part of your job in e-commerce. And that might be a great business for you. If you do get a mass market product, that can be extremely scalable. And it's also a very sellable business because it doesn't have to rely on your face at all, like a coaching or consulting or a info product business. So it's a really sellable business. So business number one idea for 2021 absolutely blew up this past year with the pandemic is e-com. Start with drop shipping. That's going to teach you the business model and then graduate to sourcing your own product when you want to make a profit. Business model two for 2021 is productized services. This is doing things like offering marketing services to local businesses. Now I say productized services because the difference between a freelancer, somebody who offers to do anything for anyone and a productized service is the freelancer is trading hours for dollars. Whereas the productized service is actually trading a standardized process. So we might say we set up three different marketing campaigns for every company we work with. We test 10 different ads in three different products for the company and we do it over this time frame, and it works exactly the same way for every single customer that we bring on. That's productized. And that means it works within a system. And so our job as the entrepreneur here is to build that system. You know, we get a sales rep in place. We get a marketing campaign that brings in new leads to our business. And then we hire an ad buyer or a copywriter to actually create those ads and launch them up for us. And our job is just putting those pieces together. Now, if we were offering services that weren't productized, we would be trading our hours for dollars, which is what we don't want to be doing. So again, if you want that time location freedom, I use what's called the snowboard trip test, which means could I take a snowboard trip with this job or not? And if not, there's a good chance I'm not actually in my own business. I'm just self-employed and I built a job for myself. So I always want to be building those systems where the work I put into them pays off long after I've done it and it can actually run without me being there. So if you build your marketing agency as a productized service where you niche down and you offer a really specialized service to one type of business, that's going to be a lot more sellable than you just going out there and being a marketing consultant and doing anything for anyone. If you want to know exactly how to build an online sign spinner business, which is a productized marketing agency in 2021, again, one of the best things you could do right now, because it's quick to cash flow. You're going to make high profit margins on like e-commerce. You can get started with no prior results or experience. And like I said, you can productize it. So you are the business owner. You're building the system, not trading hours for dollars. Just check out the link in the description. We've helped thousands and thousands of people do this. So we can show you exactly how to do it. And demand for this is only growing in 2021. All the businesses have been forced online. There are millions of businesses who need your help getting their business online and getting customers through online channels. And this is the perfect way to do it. Again, it's a great business model because you can do it as a beginner. You're going to make very high profit margins and you're going to, your speed to cash is very, very quick. Business idea number three for 2021 is affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is essentially acting as a sales rep for another company. So if I go to Amazon, I can sign up for their affiliate program. Then let's say I get a link to this camera and I post it in the description of this YouTube video. Now, if you buy this camera through the link that I posted, I would get a small commission from that purchase. Now, Amazon offers a small commission, but there are companies out there who offer 50% or more. And what this does is it breaks down a business from having to create the product and the marketing to only having to deal with the marketing. So this is a great business to get into after you've been in business number two, a marketing agency, because you know how to market. And if you can bring a business customers cheaply enough through marketing channels like Facebook ads, YouTube ads, organic posting, things like that, then you can make a great commission. Another example of this is ClickFunnels software, which you can check out in the description below. They offer, I believe it's 40 or 50% commission. So if you refer ClickFunnels out to people and they sign up for that program, you're going to get paid a nice, healthy recurring commission. And again, you don't have to worry about fulfillment or dealing with the product at all. All you have to do is get people to sign up and then you'll get paid every single month. So that's a nice beginner business, but you actually have to be good at marketing. And that's why I usually don't recommend affiliate marketing before the marketing agency. Because the marketing agency, you kind of get your feet wet by learning how to market for local businesses, which are the easiest to market for. And then you can get into more competitive channels using digital marketing, where you really have to get people's attention and make that margin on affiliate products. Now, the downside of affiliate marketing is that your margins are lower than if you owned your own business. So if I sell a product, I get 100% of that back, 
then I can spend some of that on ads to bring in new customers. If I'm an affiliate, maybe I only get 50%. So my margins are gonna be a lot smaller on the product, which means what? I have to be better at advertising. So that's why I don't recommend that to complete newbies, but it is a great business model if you know how to market. Business idea number four is coaching. Coaching industry has just been blowing up for the last decade and even more so in this past year with the pandemic. Coaching is just helping somebody get an end result. So you could help somebody lose 30 pounds. You could help somebody pack on 10 pounds of muscle if you're a fitness coach. Um, you could be a marketing coach. You could help somebody go out there and get clients or get results for those clients. You could be a snowboarding coach, help somebody get better at snowboarding. You could be a dating coach, helping people get more dates. Whatever it is, you can coach somebody in pretty much anything you can think of where they wanna get an end result and they've struggled to get it in the past. Now, the best results in coaching typically come from three niches, wealth, health, and relationships. And that's because those are the most important things in most people's lives and they're the most painful to not be able to get a result in. So think about somebody who really wants to find the love of their life and they've struggled and they've been unable to do it. Number one, if you coach them through that, if you're really good at Tinder or something like that, uh, you can make a tremendous impact in their life. You can help them find their husband or their wife and they're willing to pay a lot of money for that. Likewise, with health, if somebody's trying to get in shape or you know get over their lifelong struggle with their weight and you make a difference in their life, that is huge. So you can charge premium prices for that. Same goes for money. If you can help somebody start a business and they're making $30,000 a month, less than a year later, that is a tremendous impact on their life. It's gonna impact their family, it's gonna impact their kids, their whole entire lifestyle. So you can charge a lot of money for that. You're gonna make a big difference in their life. Now, if you wanna get into coaching, just think, what result have I gotten for myself or others in the past? And just take out a piece of paper, write down everything you can think of, and you'll start to get ideas of what you could coach people in. Then go out there and just say, hey, I'm starting a test run for my coaching business. I'm taking on three free clients. In exchange, I'm gonna ask for a testimonial after you get the result. I'm gonna help people go from point A to point B. So I'm gonna help people go from you know out of shape and not working out at all to enjoying working out every day and losing 20 pounds over the next six, six weeks. So losing 20 pounds over the next six weeks. I'm gonna offer this for free in exchange for a testimonial. That's how you start your coaching business. Once you have those testimonials, you have case studies and results, you can go out there and use those to get more coaching clients. Now the upside of coaching is that the margins are amazing. You can charge high ticket prices. You can charge somebody $8,000 to help them start their business, and most of that is profit. So unlike e-commerce, when you're doing really big numbers, a lot of that's going to your fulfillment cost, paying for that product, paying for ads. Coaching, you can go out there, you can use organic marketing, you can get your first couple clients, and you know you can be making 10K a month, a couple months from now, and it's all profit. The downside to coaching is it's not as scalable as other business models because it does require your time, especially in the beginning before you productize this or brought on other team members to help you. So it's a great beginner business if you know how to get somebody a result that they're after. So my pick number four for 2021 is a coaching business. You can get started right now with no overhead. And pick number five is digital products or online courses. Now online courses are kind of like a coaching business, but you have standardized the process. So a lot of people make the mistake and they go out there and they try to create an online course before coaching people and they create something that nobody really wants and it doesn't really get someone a result. So you actually wanna put people through your coaching process over and over. Once you know exactly what works every single time, turn that into an online course and you can go out there and sell that and that is much more systemized than a coaching business. You know, you can create an online course and sell it over and over again for years and years without actually being there present in the office every single day. Now the downside to this is it's a lot harder to sell an online course as it is coaching because people like the personalized attention of coaching. So you have to be a lot better marketer to do this and you have to be a lot better at getting your students results because you don't get to work one-on-one -on -one with every person. You actually have to have a process that works for everybody. So if you're ready to scale your coaching business or you're already an expert in something and you know you can get people results over and over again, an online course is an amazing way to build a scalable business in 2021 that doesn't require your time. You put in the time up front, you build the system, and it keeps paying off over and over again throughout the year. So again, the upside there is it's extremely scalable. The margins are gonna be lower than a coaching business. You have to be a lot better at marketing, uh, but it's a great business model because the fulfillment costs are low once you've built that actual course. So that's the five businesses that I recommend most in 2021. We've got e-commerce, 
Productized services. Number two is my pick for beginners who need high profit margins. They need to make money right now. Uh, we've got three, affiliate marketing. This is great if you're an amazing marketer. Four, we have coaching. And number five, we have digital products, which is an awesome business model if you've already been a coach or an expert. I want to point out some notable mentions here. Number one is a YouTube channel. YouTube, I think, is only going to continue to get bigger and bigger. There's kind of infinite niches, and it's a great way to make money, but you don't make money on day one. You have to build it up over a couple of years. So if you need to go out there and make money right now in 2021, that's why I didn't put it on the list, because you actually have to stick with this for a long time. So that's my notable mention is YouTube channels. I think as a long-term strategy, it's an awesome business to start, but you have to be really patient. Now, I want to say one more thing before I let you go here. These five business models, the best business model for you is probably whichever one you'll keep doing. The biggest indicator of your success is a year from now, are you still doing the thing that you started today? So if you do this for a week, for a month, you might get mediocre results. But if you do it for a year, you've created an entirely new life for yourself. So do what is easy for you, do what you're interested in, do what you would do even if you didn't make money in it. And actually give yourself that gift. Say, I'm gonna do this thing for a year and I don't care if I make money in it this year and I'm gonna do it no matter what until next year. And then I'll look at the results. And that's because unlike a job, a business has what's called exponential results, which means the majority of the results come at the end of the work that you've done. By the time you see results, you've already done all the work. So imagine a business where you put in work all year and then the last month of the year, you make 200 grand. Now, if you were getting a job, you would, you would wanna make that $200,000 spaced out over the whole year. In a business, it might come at the very end. But the difference is you might start making 500,000 or a million. It's so scalable, but the results don't come until down the line. And so that's the biggest reason that most people fail over and over again with businesses because life gets in the way and they don't keep doing the things that they started doing. So if you're doing something and you're not getting results, make sure you have a proper mentor, make sure you have proper guidance, but chances are you just need to keep doing those things over and over and down the line, the exponential results will come. So I hope this helps. If you wanna start a business in 2021, give yourself the gift of committing to it for a whole year, no matter what happens. It's like you're in the army, you're not allowed to quit and your life will completely change in a year if you do that. Now, if you give up after six weeks or three weeks or two weeks or one week, like most people, nothing is gonna change in your life. Go out there, try these five. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want more info like this. We'll break down these business models in detail. I'll show you how to do each one. But also throw in the comments below, which business model are you gonna try? What are your biggest hesitations or your obstacles you think? And I'll go ahead and help you out in the comments. Again, like the video for the algorithm so we can keep producing more free YouTube content for you. This is Christian, the Work Money Work Digital Marketing Guy. So excited to see what you do with your business in 2021. And if life gets in the way, just remember, just come back. Today is the best day to get started.